who you are. My name's Gabe. Where are you from? <laughs> uh, we're from Southern California, Orange County. Who'd you move up here with? With my wife and two kids. Yeah. How old are they? They're four and two and a half. They are yeah. the most adorable, rambunctious little girls. They're very cute. We love them. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. What do you do for work? Uh, I work in sales. I work as a med device sales rep, and so drive around hospitals and slang med devices. When what brought you up here? Uh, work, worked it. Yeah. You got a good job opportunity. Yeah, we got a good job opportunity, and we've been looking to kind of find a place to raise a family that mm -hmm. you know is maybe a better cost of living, but also a better probably environment to raise little kids in. Because you were in. California? Yeah, we were in Southern California, Orange County specifically. It was getting really crowded, and then the home prices were insane. Mm -hmm. And then you own a home down there. We own a home, yeah, still for do. sure. Yeah, we still have it. Yeah, which is great. We have like an Airbnb, but it just kind of felt like the pace and just like it, it kind of felt uh, like a rat race. You're trying to and just you guys keep are born up. And raised, right? Yeah, California. yeah, we're we were born and raised. Oh, that's a lot so it's different. It's different up here. I'm not used to roosters in the background of like impromptu interviews, but, but it's been a lot of fun. Hopefully, one doesn't attack me while we're standing here. It's no guarantees. I, I almost got attacked. I was like, someone's gonna get me on video running. So you got this job opportunity, and yeah. then we were started talking. This was probably in May. Yeah, end of May, early June. And. You were kind of in between Oregon, possibly, like the Lake Oswego, yeah. Westland area, or Camas. Well, so yes, we were, I got a job offer in June, and then they're like, great, we're so happy that you signed the offer, we need you here in 30 days. Yeah. So then we're like, okay, this is crazy. Yeah. Which, Which was by about the, 60 days after the Camas got named one of the best cities to live in in the whole country. Yes, yeah, so that was great for competition. Yeah, we loved that. Uh, but no, it was funny because I first got uh, pr approached for the job. They're mm -hmm. like, hey, we want you to move to Portland. And I'm like, there's no chance. Like, mm -hmm. have you watched the news recently? <laughs> like, this place is crumbling. <laughs> there's way too many, yeah. like whatever. But it actually is totally not what we anticipated. Yeah. So like you have this really beautiful city, but then you have all these suburbs. So mm -hmm. we Googled safest place or safest neighborhood, I think in Portland yeah. area and Camas showed up. And so we were set to go to Camas mm -hmm. and then we landed. Uh, I think we were going to do walkthroughs on Friday. Okay. We walk through the airport, meet some guy. He's like, you have to check out Oswego. Oh, and he sells right. us on Oswego for like 45 <laughs> minutes. So we're like, ow, thanks for putting all these properties together for us. My wife doesn't want to see them anymore. She wants to go to Oswego. <laughs> and what did I say? No problem. Uh, you said, yeah, I'll get it done. So you showed us a million homes. No, uh, not a million. <laughs> no, you showed us a lot of homes. You did a great job. Thank so. you. It wasn't that many. Was it? No, it wasn't. It was probably, we saw, I think eight homes mm -hmm. on the next day. And then the following day, we probably saw five. Yeah. But after the second home that I saw in Camas, I was set, I was done. I was mm -hmm. ready to. Yeah, you were sold yeah. on Camas. Yeah, I was sold. And then the, the interesting thing, because Camas had just gotten this national recognition, it was like, the. I mean, Camas is already always hot. And then yeah. right after that, it was just, the, early, the beginning part of the summer was very, very competitive. I actually had clients that were like, every time you would text me home, they would text me the same home. Yeah. <laughs> so we had a lot of um, clients that were circling the same areas. And I brought yeah. this property to you, because you guys were about to rent. You're like, how, I gotta be up here in June 1st. Like, we wanna buy, we'd rather buy, but if we don't, I gotta yeah. start. We need to have yeah. a rental. And I was like, wait, don't sign your lease. Like, let me show you this property. Yeah. And you, what did you say? It's way outside of our budget. Yeah. And I said, yeah, but no what did I tell you? You said we could probably get into negotiations. I don't know what you exactly told me. What did you yeah. say? Well, exactly that. You convinced like, me to, because basically, yeah, you're like, this is a huge opportunity. Nobody's looking at it, which yeah. you were right. Because it was priced yeah, about a hundred thousand over. It was, yeah, it was a overpriced. for sale by owner. Yeah. And, and then you ended up, I don't know what that's called. You were, you were helping us as the buyers. You were mm -hmm. also helping the sellers do their job because they <laughs> yeah. had no idea what they were doing. Yeah, they so were you ended selling up doing, it themselves. Yeah, twice the work for us. And so we ended up, hard. what, 90,000 under asking? Yeah, and something like that. Inspections didn't go so great. Almost fell apart. Yeah, the deal was falling apart, crumbling. <laughs> my soul, like my mental health was not in a great space. I was holding my phone together. calls probably weren't very nice. <laughs> So bad, but yeah, no, yeah, fine. no, it actually went. Yeah, you did a great job. You're like, what did it take? 
like, what would it take for you? We named our terms. Mm -hmm. They agreed. The, de the deal was sealed, done. Yeah. We got a new roof. Got a new roof. New crawl space. New crawl space. Which was about $38,000 together. Yeah, at least. Yeah. More than that. And we got you a seller's credit. It was 24 credit. plus 15. Yeah. 24 plus 15. Yeah. Was that almost 40? Almost 40. Yeah, and then almost 40. You had a $15,000 seller credit. So it's like we got the price reduction, we got the seller credit, we got the inspection negotiation. And the appraisal came in 30 over what we got it <laughs> for. So it was a great, it ended up being yeah. a great deal. It all worked out in the end. How worked for that deal? <laughs> no, I don't think anybody, I think we were like one of the only people to take a look at it, right? Yeah, I think maybe in we total, I showed it to other clients, yeah. they didn't like it. Right. Uh, and then I think maybe they had one other showing. But it's a great house, great neighborhood, no, great, house. great location. No, I think what Hal did a good job on, Hal, <laughs> Hal did a good job on, was every kind of everybody passed it up because it was overpriced. It had terrible, terrible pictures. Oh. And like we're remotely purchasing it, so it's like pictures are kind of important. But like, no, you went in, you're like, hey, I think it's a great opportunity. You toured the house. You did a great job. You worked out with the that sellers. Was virtual, like yeah. it was all virtual, so you really made it work. So I think you had like a vision as well as the work ethic to make it happen. So not to mention, like you said, it was like this super hot situation where you had all these it was like clients the only thing that in are Camus. signed. <laughs> Everybody wants to live in Camus, and there's yeah. three options. Yeah. You know, so and this is the one property that nobody was looking at because I remember now they had their dogs in the photo. They had their they're like, bathroom. hey, look at this lamp. It's a cool lamp. <laughs> you know, it's like dim lit. It's like dark outside. It's like rule 101, like lighting. You're, like you're, no you're making me cringe over here. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty. It was pretty insane. Yeah. Yeah. It was so. great. You got definitely the hidden gem. I don't think I told you this, but so my clients that also looked at the property when they were looking and then so we were talking they're still looking you're under contract and i was just in passing they're like oh whatever ended up happening with the house i'm like yeah my other clients are buying it we got it at this at this price and he was like you didn't tell me i could get it at that price and i was like you didn't like the house <laughs> and you know they didn't ask i think yeah I, I even told you like this is our number and you're like it's kind of low i'm like this is, you know yeah. this is what it is yeah and you but it was through i think it was so it was just so worth it and so to know that someone else is like oh if i could have gotten that deal like i would have felt differently about it i think yeah. it was just such a gem i'm really glad that you guys are there me too and my other clients found a place that they're equally as happy with which is an important thing this is with your family the one that you said could stay with you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Because you guys are nice people. I don't know. <laughs> that was you, fun. You guys are honestly, like, true, like, like Christian value people, like, live yeah. by it, you know? Oh. When you're like, oh, we'll open our home to them. We were just in that situation. That's our cupcake that the chicken's eating. That's definitely our cupcake. Camila, that's like, oh, is that your cupcake? <laughs> Your cupcake that we were going to eat. I, I knew it. It's really, you guys missed out. I'll bring you some if you want when we do our thing. I had half of it, it was really good. Thank you. It's pumpkin brown butter cream cheese frosting. Pumpkin cupcake brown butter cream cheese. <laughs> Follow um, the link below. <laughs> right? Are you say. starting a YouTube journal? No, this is your, this is your YouTube thing. Uh, we found you on YouTube. Yeah, you found Super us on YouTube. Super knowledgeable, knows the area, knows all, she goes to like all the, city meeting so she knows what's coming up yeah Studies would you do it well. again now that you're on the other side with us with the bird's would eye I... group oh yeah for sure who else would i go with <laughs> you never know no, you guys a did a great job thank you, guys you. Did a great job so if you need help relocating myself and my team are here for you if you're looking to buy sell invest in the pacific northwest you can shoot me a text 360-818-4438 thank you for doing this impromptu great job <laughs>